Welcome to Two and a Half Acres. Yes, we'll show you what our uh, what we're working on right now. Our project. Um, it is trying to fence in this part of the uh, where we're going to keep the sheep and goat. Can't leave out the goat for sure. Um, we'll show you that coming up. Bang! Action. Today we're building a fence. Yeah, we are, little buddy. Right here, we got a gate that we're going to mount on this pole right here. And actually, we're gonna put two of them, but it's gonna go all the way. Can you all see that? There it is. It's gonna go all the way to the other side over there to our property line. And we're just gonna use we're just using the cheap T poles right now. And what else, buddy? Little field fence. I don't know. <laughs> but that's what we're using. We're gonna go all, all the way across. And then I'm going to use the uh, two and three eighths post right here. Um, go across here, and I'm going to put a top pole on these uh, two and three eighths also. Where are we at? It's going to fit snug in there. Man, I got to get those lined up, and it's going to look party right there. It's going to look really nice, I think. But right here, in, on the, just on the back half, we're just going uh, just a T post on this side. There's our uh, barn we got. I got those off of Craigslist, actually. There was actually um, two of them I took down and <clears throat> I put those two together. I didn't know it when I was putting together, but they're actually different sizes, which was fun. But the sheep, we're gonna get some sheep. We got that little cattle trailer on this backside. We have uh, cattle panels on the back side and on the front going around. This is where we're going to start them right here. Um, this is going to be their main area right here. I think I'm actually going to put like an awning or something on this to bring out just because it gets wet in there when it rains, which is pretty nice size. Hey, buddy, you have four feet on top and two feet. That we're going to bury in the ground. What's the total of it all together? Six. See? And you're going to cheat and use our broken cheap measuring tape that doesn't go back. Man. See? You smart boy. Boom! All right. Let's get to digging. I used the auger on these. And that thing was made for like two people and it beat the crud out of me. So, get a friend if you're going to do that. That's all I'm saying. What are you doing? <laughs> We're building the fence. Don't put me on my head. That might hurt. But on the auger, I didn't go far enough, so I got to hand dig these out. But, hey, I ain't trying to kill myself either. So like this might be easier. Old school. All right. We're still in the back, uh, the main area where the sheep are gonna be. It's gonna come across here. Um, I'm gonna have another uh, gate. It's gonna look like, just like that right there. I'm gonna slap in here so kind of a straight shot right to uh, the bar it's gonna come across here kind of just block this area off um, it's gonna go over there and I'm gonna have another uh, gate right there because there's a gate right there and over here there's a gate where are we at Ooh, right there and eventually we're gonna block this off where the dog's pen is that's the dog's pen 
and this will be the second the second yard but when I get hay or whatever new uh, new ewes or whatever I can uh, come in this gate go through this one come around here and then you know just pull around so it's not oh, crazy I'm trying to get in here and out it'll be real easy at least that's the plan we will see this is our northwest side of where our sheep's gonna go and where this big old ditch is right here comes all the way over here I would like to put gravel on it or not gravel but dirt kind of fill it up so it's not such a big ditch I know it's kind of bad if it's we have a rainy season or something and the hooves get wet and um, just stay wet a long time with mud and caked in there and stuff um, so anyways it's OG and E little box right here I called them to see if they can move it to our uh, fence line they said they're gonna check it because it's kind of too far out and uh, so anyways they they checked it back here where these white um, flags are and they said that actually that's where the box is supposed to be and they said our fit property line is actually supposed to go 10 feet to the neighbor's side so that's a plus but it's kind of a minus because I like our neighbor he's cool so hopefully I'm thinking I'll just let him know and then eventually um, we can redo this fence I'll just I'll just wait until we have to repair it and then we can move it back then but I'm sure his boar goats over there and uh, my sheep will do some work on it eventually and then uh, then we can move it back so kind of like a win-win for everybody well a little bit I'll tell you one thing guys this right here in the afternoon is my favorite part of the day it just seems like when the sun's going down <clears throat> it just highlights everything just makes everything you know just I don't know just brightens it up just highlights the that God created us and his beauty me and my son most of the time we sit back here about this time and uh, just sit up here and talk about the day and what's going on what's going on at school we built this thing it's kind of in the way but we kind of highlighted everything but you can still see it watch the chickens and you know, this, this part of the day is where it's at a lot of people like the mornings but most of the time when I'm waking up in the morning I gotta go to work it's just nice I love it there he is it's time to have our talk for today I spy with my little eye something Colorful. Something colorful. Hmm. What is it? My the glasses. glasses. Oh man. I spy something handsome and awesome. A pink over there. <laughs> Silly.